few line items. Projects in Estimate Rocket and estimates and invoices, etc., are all built from line items. So if I use to add line items to a project, you simply use the line items plus button. Now, depending upon what add-ons you have, you may not have any choices here other than line item, in which case you can only add things out of your item list. You may also, if you set up item templates, this is where you'll see your item templates. So if you remember the epoxy floor coating template that we, that we looked at a few minutes ago, that's where, you'd see, that's where this is set up. And I'm actually going to pick that one. So when I pick an item template, it brings up a list of the items that I have available to choose from. So I could add all these items to the project one by one by saying line item plus epoxy coating, 45 cents a unit, and entering in my quantity of 650 square feet, and it prices it out for me. That looks great but that took a little while. So the easier way to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. The easier way to do that is with a line item template. So if I use my floor coating template, I can say, yep, I'm gonna power wash 650 square feet. I'm gonna do the epoxy coating 650 square feet. I want 650 square feet of the liquid minerals uh, uh, finishing and I want to add in another six hours of installation labor. And when I save that, Estimate Rocket is going to create me a series of line items uh, based on that template. And in this particular case, it actually created these in two separate groups. So it created a floor coating group, and it also created a labor group. So. I can, and by putting in a group name, I could have moved, I could have had them all in the same group if I wanted. But this just shows you a good example of a project where items are shown in multiple groups. Uh, line item flexibility. And we do have some videos on line items, creating and adding line items, so I'm not going to get too much depth here. But just a quick note, uh, the, there are a lot of options for groups of line items on a project, and you can control them with the little uh, edit button in the group heading. So even though this group doesn't have a name, I can still control the settings for it with the edit group. So edit group lets me control which columns are going to be displayed. Maybe I want to turn off the unit price, but I do want to have a group total. And maybe I want to give it a group name and I want to call it labor. And the other thing that you might notice if you look at this is that right now, this first amount is not included in the total. The total of the project is 210, which is just the labor group. The reason for that is another group setting. So when I go up to the floor coating and I say edit group, you'll notice that it's include an estimate total is not checked off. So that's a trick um, to if you want to offer your client options. If you want everything included, then you simply check include an estimate total. And now you can see that all of the information is included in the project total. Okay, so um, next step in the project, if this looks good, and we're going to find out if it looks good by previewing it. And our preview is going to show us, you know, what our information is. Shows the client information, shows our company information on the left, uh, shows the job name, Smith Residence, and the job location, which is the address. And then it shows us all our information from our quote. Shows us a grand total, and then terms and conditions, signature line and contract. And if we had photos, uploaded photos to the project, we'd see some photos in there as well.